What's the ideal training volume for calisthenics? Whether that's for strength, getting as strong as hell, or getting big and jacked for hypertrophy. So this question is, was inserted by Yuri C4 underscore street workout. Training volume for calisthenics, extremely interesting subject, always pops back. How would you program that? Okay, great question. Let's talk about volume in general for strength training. We know that there is a direct correlation between volume and growth. They're almost the more sets that you can do, the, the more, so we determine the amount of volume by number of sets a week, the more growth you get. There's a, a point where that diminishes uh, as it will get harder for you to recover, but we are talking even up to 50 sets. And if you go to old school bodybuilding, you will see, I'm talking about Leroy Colbert, Serge Nubro, Sergio Oliva, Franco Colombo, Dave Draper. They were doing high volume. That's old school training, that's high volume. We're talking about 10 sets to 15 sets, to so 20 sets per muscle group, and they were smashing each muscle group two to three times a week. So long sessions, perhaps not the heaviest weight, they're doing lots of volume, blitz workout, short rest, though you will even rest 30 to 60 seconds, enter the next set. Doing supersets, triple sets, giant sets, but getting a lot of volume done in two or three hour time, and that, a lot of them were natural. So if you think about what will yield a, a physique that almost seems unnatural, impossible to achieve, they were doing it. Bear in mind, you are not taking this advice and applying it immediately into your routine. If you are currently doing five sets per muscle group a week, you will get a ton of progress going from five sets to eight sets, and then from eight sets to 10, and to 12, to 15, to 18, to 20, increasing two to three sets over the course of three weeks. So about a training block, a month, right? Your body gets accustomed to training now 10 sets per muscle group a week, and then you smash in extra two or three sets. That shakes the body up, that's more stress, the body grows, the body responds until he adapts. So you increase volume, both by reps and both by number of sets over the course of a few months. Eventually, you'll have to flush the fatigue out, recalibrate, change exercises, increase weight, and then you go back again to building more volume. That's hypertrophy training. So you go from five to 20, 25 sets per muscle group a week. And as we see research states and old school natural bodybuilders, even up to 40 sets per week, you build over the course of multiple many months. Now, if we are talking about strength, pure strength, becoming as strong as possible, performance in calisthenic skills, I want to start with a story, a personal experience. I was running my body so thin, doing tons of advanced skill, like planche push-ups, iron cross, and Maltese, or at least training for them. I wasn't able still at that point to execute them because I was the chief of my own programming and being a hardworking athlete, dedicated person, I wanted to do more, more, more and I can already assume that many of you will resonate to this sensation, this feeling. I want to do more. If I do more, I will probably improve faster and you don't mind doing a lot of work. You are this type of athlete. And I was, I'm talking about five, five years ago, exactly the same to the point that my elbows got so damaged, so inflamed that if I didn't warm up for about an hour prior to workout. I couldn't even imagine entering certain posi positions because of the pain. And when I went off the rings after a hard set, 
boom, a sharp pain will directly, immediately um, shoot into my elbows. I knew that I'm no longer or I should not be the boss of my own training because this is not the way to train. I started following a well-known strength program at that time and surprisingly it was not a lot of hard intense sets. To be exact, it was all about one very max reps set, just one set per week per movement. I was training the cross and the Maltese primarily. One hard set. So I had lighter sets, technique sets as well, but those are sets that I was fairly comfortable entering with no warm up. That's the level of how not intense it was. And I was by week three astonished by the strength that I gained. But I didn't really gain a ton of strength in three weeks. In hindsight, what I know today to be true is that I got recovered enough to the point that all of my strength flooded, arise, so I can demonstrate it. Often, you are under-recovered, you are inflamed, perhaps slightly injured, so you don't even know what your true strength is if you had to exert it. So the pain masks the inflammation, the injury masks the strength. Hence, people do uh, reloading into competitions, they peak into competitions, they gain all the strength, you don't have so much strength that you can gain in one week, you are much better off maximizing recovery, so you will be able to demonstrate the strength, and this is exactly what happened to me, and from 2019, from that point, that I started training smart, I transformed all of my training programs thereafter, and my clients to see significantly more results. And this is when you are considering training for strength to be as strong as possible, you will find the same data when you read old school strength, powerlifting strongmen. You see that if you take the heaviest movements, the deadlifts, world record currently 501, you don't attempt a very, very max effort heavy deadlift more than once every two weeks, even once a month. Calisthenics is not as heavy, so you don't have to stretch the hard working sets or workouts as far between. But you get the idea that for training for strength, it's about prioritizing intensity, hence less work, being as recovered and fresh to hit PRs. Now for pure strength, you have to lower the volume. And we only lower the volume as a byproduct of the increased intensity. We want to handle more weight, you manipulating heavier loads, so we can practice technique, so the nervous system can, can get more efficient, and so we can strengthen, make our tendons more thick and resilient especially crucial for calisthenics straight arm skills. Imagine the iron cross, the inverted cross, the planche. They require shoulder, elbow, and wrist tendons like cable steels. And you get cable steel tendons from doing low number of reps, heavy loads, not a lot of time under tension. We are talking about primarily using the one to five rep range for strength in particular, you can't sustain as much volume using these heavier loads as it takes the body and the nervous system more time to recover from it in comparison to light dumbbells isolation biceps work. Therefore, if I have to give general recommendations for strength, I would aim for 5 to 15 sets per week split over the course of two to three sessions throughout the week for optimal training learning frequency. The more you practice movements, each time you practice, the more frequency, the more learning opportunities, and usually the more practice, the better you get at a skill, okay? 
Now in calisthenics, what are the main differences? Strength training from calisthenics. Calisthenics is mostly upper body. So we are referring to usually on average smaller muscle groups than if we were to incorporate lower body, heavy deadlifts, rows, squats, etc. Smaller muscle groups, they can do handle more volume and more and or more frequency because you can't afflict as much damage because these muscle groups are weaker therefore they recover faster so again and if you study gymnasts and calisthenic athletes you will see that they often train four or five times just the upper body a week and uh, reaching similar um, volume measurements aforementioned about even up to 40 sets per muscle groups they can recover especially if they're light and young and shorter because the range of motor motion is shorter um, but yeah upper body you can train it uh, doing more volume and you will see more growth certainly um, it reacts great to more exercises more variations more volume higher frequency whenever i you know when i did ring specialization i trained my arms directly three times a week to support ring performance so more triceps more biceps which are uh, my weakest uh, muscle groups coming from barbell background i had big torso chunky torso big chest big back big traps big abs which are mostly uh, not useful for the sport so a lot of useless mass but my arms were relatively weak i trained my arms three times directly not including even all of the skill training, which is a lot of arms. We are talking front levels, planches, iron cross, Maltese, pull-ups, chin-ups, and so on. To contrast this point, in calisthenics, often when training for strength, improving performance in skills like the iron cross, planche, handstand push-ups, front levels, one-arm chin-ups, you will work a lot of overlapping systems, overlapping muscle groups. So although you might indeed attribute only 10 sets per movement a week, which sounds like it makes sense, if you are trying to achieve handstand push-ups, planches, weighted dips, and ring push-ups, all of them will require a lot of anterior strength, recruiting mostly your shoulders, arms and some chest running the risk of over shooting maximum recoverable volume for these muscle groups hence it's a wise recommendation to mix to set one pull and one push main goal simultaneously in your routine as they will mostly work antagonistic opposing muscle groups you can allocate a lot of volume and or intensity to each movement and they will still go well hand in hand and you'll be able to recover from all the work you're always safer starting on the lower end of my general recommendations being five hard working sets per movement to optimize strength and 10 sets for growth and then adding from there you can always add it is easier than trying to solve an injury or overtraining. Watch your symptoms physically and mentally. Whether you crave more sessions, longer sessions, more exercises in your routine, whether you want to crush the next workout, or are you drained, demotivated to train? Those can be signs of too much volume or the right effective dose of training whether you are constantly too sore in a lot of different muscle groups all the time that might hint that you are overshooting the volume and you might enter next session under recovered it's fine for one session or two but if it's consistent that's a problem those are great general symptoms hint whether you are recovering or not whether you are overdoing the volume or not 
So listen to your body, take the general recommendation, start play, playing from there, listen to your body and eventually you find what works for you.